web welcome back to the hanging with web show i'm gw pomacher thanks for logging on and tuning in we are here in orlando florida at megacon 2017 we're on the floor we're checking out some amazing creators we have cosplayers we have authors we have artists inkers we have celebrities actors filmmakers this is a creative buffet and we are in the middle of it all down here we've got cosplay photo ops we've got amazing props up there we've got inkers and artists over here there's authors and and designers we've got all kinds of creative people here at megacon down on the floor right now ellie ingraham is checking out some of the amazing folks down at artist alley so we're going to go down and check in with her and see how she's doing ellie who are you hanging with now all right, welcome back everyone. This is Allison Ingraham and I am here at the 2017 MegaCon in Orlando, Florida and I am hanging with Casa Commotion. Hi guys. Hi. So um, we're, we're hanging with, uh, let me guess, Penguin, uh, Riddler, Fish, yes. Doctor Strange, and Joker. I go by Jero. <laughs> so, guys, how's the con going? It's been incredible. This is actually a homecoming for us because last year at this very con, we were simply just walking the halls, just admiring everybody else's cosplays and thinking, I think I want to try this, not knowing it's going to develop into this. Oh, my God. You guys are incredible. <laughs> incredible. Um, so, uh, how huge of con goers are you? Do you do a lot? I mean, yes, uh, what, we all do. We actually go quite a bit. We go maybe two, three a month. Oh, that's that, that <laughs> is a lot. Um, so, you're um, obviously the fan of the pop culture. Uh, favorite hero? Oh gosh. Each one probably has a different uh, one. Um, Storm. Uh, for. DC Comics, got to give it to Batman for Marvel Comics. I'm throwing it as a tie between Iron Man and Deadpool. I'm going to admit, I've been a Spider-Man fan my whole life. Oh, great. Green Lantern. Got to give it to a Batsy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes him. That's great. Who's your uh, favorite villain? The one that you are? Well, Joker, obviously. <laughs> well, I guess it's Doctor Strange for me. Fish Mooney. I'm um, actually a favorite Joker. So, Oswald Cobblepot. Oswald, all right. What's the most unusual things you've encountered? Having people cry when they see us because they, they because they're fanning out. They think we are those actors. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yes. Uh, what's the most fantastic thing that uh, you've ever encountered? I'll let others answer that. I'll answer that. Well. Um, Actually, we got to meet some of the people who actually do the Gotham TV show, Robin Lord Taylor, type of guy. That was kind of exciting. Yeah. Yes. Uh, for me, it's um, they're uh, small children, and they their eyes just light up when they see their favorite heroes and villains, and it's it's just wonderful to to bring that little bit of joy into their lives. Absolutely. Meeting fans of the show, that's awesome. Yeah, fans of whatever you're doing. It's so fantastic just to see them just get so excited to meet you. And even when you're walking around and you see like celebrities and other people that do this for a living and they're really excited to see you too. It just it's a good feeling. Well, to elaborate on what Oswald said, I was able to actually meet Robin Lord Taylor and when he saw me, he thought I was Jada. So his response was exactly that. <laughs> oh, see that's it the best viral. compliment the video ever. Went viral, went crazy. Oh my God, yeah, that is. Um, anyone here or at other cons that you just totally geek over? Um, besides Jada, um, Andrew Lincoln from The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think he's at this con, but uh, Jason David Frank, he was uh, part of the Power Rangers. He did the green, white, red, and black ranger. Childhood hero. Yes. Yeah, I want to meet Meatloaf. I do too. Yes. Anything for love. Stan the man, Stan Lee. Yeah. Man, man. 
Oh, Mr. Arkham himself, Mark Hamill! Actually met him at Star Wars Celebration, and he did the voice for me, and oh, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, how long have you been cosplaying? Oh, gosh. Um, actually, cosplaying, I want to say about two years. Yeah. Uh, close to 10 years, actually. Wow. Yeah. It hasn't even been a year. My wife, Fish Mooney, um, got me involved, but it's only been about nine months. I've been doing it for about five years, but just casual. Yeah, if you count Halloween, Halloween's my favorite holiday. I've been doing that forever, but actually cosplaying, this is my one-year anniversary. Megacon last year was my first Yay. con. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um... Homemade costume or store-bought? What's your take? I think it really depends on the character. You know, of course you always want to make your own because it's your interpretation of that character. But sometimes to clench that true essence, you have to kind of go outside the box and, you know, purchase. Uh, my personal take on it is it's really a matter of um, personal time versus um, how much you're willing to spend. Um, me personally, I prefer to purchase my items because I don't have the, the free time or frankly the talent that some of these people have to make the costume. So um, as, long as, as long as you stay faithful to the source, I think you're, uh, you're in the clear. Yeah, thank goodness for secondhand stores. <laughs> my take on it is whatever makes you happy. If you have the time to make your own, great. If you want to buy it, as long as it makes you happy and that's the most important person you have to please. Yeah, basically the same thing. If yeah, if you're able to have the time to do it, I've started to get into making my own stuff for the many kinds I've just purchased a lot of things. But it, making it's fun and of itself, and then it's a, even more of a payoff when you get here and everyone loves your work. Well, you guys do a fantastic job because you're spitting images. How are we doing on time? Um, do you prefer to work alone, or obviously you have a group? Um. So you Groups are so much fun. It's just, solo is okay for walking around a little bit, but just being in a group with everyone, is just sharing, just whole scene is just so fun. Um, if you could cosplay anywhere in the world, where would that be? San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> because all the stars are I, I, I'd want to take it to the, uh, I'd want to take it straight to the heart of anime and go to Japan. Yeah. I love being here in Orlando. We're from Orlando. And I like being here. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, definitely, I'd say Asia, Korea would be awesome. My friend Ashley's over there, and I'd just love to join her. Yeah. I'd probably want to go to San Diego Comic Con, too. <laughs> they say that's the biggest one, is yeah. it? Yeah. See, I'm a, I'm a Comic Con newbie. This is my very first Aww. one. I did a itty bitty one in Utica, where I'm from. I did HeroCon. And it was to benefit uh, our children's museum. So this is uh, ginormous <laughs> to me. I love it. Yeah. I mean, I'm having a ball. <laughs> um, what was your last cosplay convention? The last big one, I believe, was Spooky Empire. Probably Supercon in Miami for me. Yeah, I think it was Maluga. It was in Tampa. Oh. Mm -hmm. For me, it was Collective Con in Jacksonville, Florida together in Maluga Con. That's the last day in Tampa. It's a good show. And you guys travel together? Is this your um, normal try. group? I mean, this is my husband, so yeah. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, you know, we try for the most part. We coordinate with everyone's schedules. Oh, that's, that's fabulous. Oh my gosh, guys, I've had so much fun right now hanging here with uh, Casa Commotion. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of today's show and our guests. You can also check our guest link below. Remember to subscribe, log in, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Thank you so much, guys. Amazing. Fantastic stuff down there on the floor. We are so glad that we got to hear from, from, from these creators. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more later on. We, before we go, though, we want to thank our partners and our friends. We want to thank Some Unique Magazine, Wordfire Press, Space Coast Comics, Famous Faces and Funnies. These are the folks that share these videos all over the World Wide Web. Hope to share these amazing creators with you and, and the rest of the web. So wherever you are, remember, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next.